Jared Poland, Fronosphoto.com, and this is huge news for anybody that owns a drone and has wanted to use it for commercial purposes. Up until this point, you have not been able to legally, technically do it, but starting soon, the FAA has just passed new regulations that's going to allow you to fly your drones for commercial use. Up until this point, you needed a 333 exemption, which was just impossible to get unless you were an actual pilot, but now that is all going to change, and I wanna show you some of the rules and highlight some of the ones that are basically what you're going to need to follow in order to do this. So you're going to get a certification that will last for 24 months when you go and take a test at a physical location and pass it. And the TSA is also going to be conducting background checks to make sure that you check out, which is also interesting. So here we go. Un Unmanned aircrafts must weigh less than 55 pounds. Visual line of sight is something that you need to have. You need to see it. Now, these are basically the same rules that are in effect currently for flying the drones for non-commercial use. You can wear aviation, you can wear the goggles, the first person goggles, but you need a spotter with you to ba basically be able to be your eyes to have line of sight. Small unmanned, small unmanned aircraft may not operate over any persons not directly participating in the operation, not under a covered structure, and not inside a covered stationary vehicle. So if you are flying at a concert and people don't know you're flying at a concert outdoors, well, you're not supposed to do that. If you're just flying over yourselves, well, you're aware of it. That is actually a good rule. Daylight only operations or civil twilight, 30 minutes before official sunrise to 30 minutes after official sunrise local time with appropriate anti-collision lighting, lighting must yield right of way to other aircraft. Get the hell out of the way of actual airplanes, if that actually happens. Um, first person view cameras not satisfactory. See and avoid requirements must but can be used as long as requirement is satisfied in other ways. Like I said, having a spotter there for you. Maximum ground speed of 100 miles an hour is insane anyway. Maximum altitude 400 feet, which is the current one as well. One other thing that I found of note, you can actually follow the link over on my website to check out the full rules that they went ahead and listed. But I thought it was interesting that a person may not operate if he or she knows or has any physical or mental conditions. Just think of that the next time you go buy a gun because you don't have to have a mental check to do that. But this is about flying drones commercially. You can now, or coming soon, you will be able to make money flying your drones, which opens up an, a massive world of revenue building streams for so many creatives out there. This is a great thing. Just follow the rules and don't be stupid when you're flying your drone. But the last thing I'll say is you are now free to fly. Jared Poland, Fronosphoto.com. See ya.